Hi, this is a quick video about um, the validation sensor from um, Zimmer and Peacock. So I'm going to click here and go down to the validation sensors. And then on this page, there's tell me about validation sensors, custom, and then how to make custom validation sensors. And so we have a sort of standard sensor that we've put together. And there's some sort of details about the circuit there and what it actually looks like here. And we sell them in packs of one or packs of five. But let me back up a little bit and talk about what actually a validation sensor is. So this is our anapot, our anapotential stat. You can either insert sensors here or we also do adapters so you can put in sensors via an adapter in the back. But this is the anapot. Now the problem that we're trying to solve with a validation sensor is you put a biosensor that you've made in the front here, for example, and you can test the solution on it and you get an uh, electrochemical signal. But what we're trying to do with a validation sensor is some people want to design, they either want to know that their anapot is functioning correctly or they're actually designing their own electronics. And if they're designing their own electronics, they want to know, you know, are my electronics functioning properly? So what is the validation sensor? Then the validation sensor is a electric, well, sorry, it's actually a circuit that's equivalent to the electrochemical cell. So here's a electrochemical cell. When you put antibodies or enzymes on it, it becomes an electrochemical sensor. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to come up with a engineering solution, which is made of capacitors and resistors that mimics that but it means that a um, an engineer does not have to be handling solutions so that's a sort of high level we're trying to make a circuit that's equivalent to the sensor or the assay and but it's only got capacitors and resistors in it and an engineer can just slot it in and check it so we do a standard one and then i do a little bit of a description on the website about you know, what is a validation sensor? And effectively, when you look at this sensor and you look at our website, it's effectively very similar to our normal like, screen printed electrodes, except it's populated with capacitors and resistors. So it starts off life um, as actually just a, this one's actually got capacitors and resistors, resistors on it. If we go to the custom validation page, you know it's all blanks. Effectively, we have a, um, on this, I'll hold this one up in a similar way. We have a, um, a reference electrode here, a working electrode here, and a counter electrode here. So I'll just say that again. This is the reference electrode, this is the working electrode, and this is the counter electrode. And what we do is we say, if you just want our standard validation sensor, then I'll go back one page and I can just buy a standard validation sensor. But realistically, every person, everyone who's doing a biosensor development or medical diagnostic development is gonna have a circuit or an equivalent circuit that's specific to their needs. So what, you know, how do we do that? Well, we can either just give people effectively blank um, validation sensors, which is just basically a blank um, with nothing on it and you can populate it with your own um, sensors or you can do custom validation I mean custom validation we just ask you to effectively tell us you can you can almost use this drop-down menu here of telling us what what you know do you want Z1 to be a capacitor inductor open short diet you can tell us you can tell us what you want it to be and you can tell us what Z2 is is going to be and you can tell us what Z3 is going to be so these Z1, Z2, Z3, Z6, Z2, Z9 are all equivalent to this um, equivalent circuit so it allows you to effectively design your own equivalent circuit and then we'll populate one of our blank validation sensors with your components on it so I am trying to answer the question, you know, what is a validation sensor? And effectively for us, a validation sensor is a, it's, try, it's, an, it's a circuit and it's trying to be equivalent to a biosensor. 
we do um, just standard we do an equivalent we do we do a standard one and we sell them in packs of one to packs of five but we it's going to be rare that actually our validation circuit is good enough for your needs at which point then you're going to need a custom validation sensor and there we're just asking you think about your biochemical sensor your biosensor your medical diagnostic and tell us you know tell us the values around the working electrodes and tell us the values around the counter electron take tells values about the reference electrode and you can use this drop down you know you can say that z1 which is here do you want that to be a resistor and i want that to be 25 um, mega ohms just making it up by the way Um, Z2 which is here I'll have that to be a capacitor I'll make it 100 picofarads so I'm whoops 100 so I'm basically just showing you that you can populate and it will when you send this then it will tell us we'll be able to look at these values and we'll be able to then populate the um, blank um, blank circuit with the capacitors and resistors that are appropriate to you. So I hope that clarifies it. If you just want the blank validation sensor as well, just contact us there. But let me summarize up and say the validation sensor is your idea about a circuit that best fits your electrochemical data. If you're not sure, then it's probably worth having a conversation with us online. We can get online with you and talk about your raw data from where we would then calculate what your um, equivalent circuit was and then we would understand what values to put in effectively to this here. Um, so I hope that clarifies a little bit A, what the validation sensor is for. It's to stop engineers having to, when they're testing things, always having to have liquids present. And then there's two ways of getting a validation sensor from us. It's um, just our standard product and there's a bit of a description about what the validation sensor is meant to be there. We have some test data against the validation sensor. Or really, most people, it's going to be custom validation because we don't know what the equivalent circuit that best reflects your biosensor is. And if you don't know, then it's probably best giving us some raw data and we'll talk to you online about it and then determine what these values are. So I'll post this and I hope this is useful and it can be the part of the Sorry, it could be the start of the conversation. Okay. Um, yeah, thanks very much.